This brief video is going to demonstrate for you how to insert images or graphics into individual assessment items created in Qualtrics. And there's a little bit of a trick to it, and I'm going to show you two of the ways that you can do this um, as, as easily and successfully as possible. So I have opened up one of my Radford University Qualtrics um, assessment, I, assessments that I developed. And it doesn't matter that the subject is something different from all of yours. I just want you to focus on the process of inserting a graphic. So let's say that I have a multiple choice item number two here, and let's say that I want to insert a graphic into this. So the way I want to do that, I want to insert a graphic into my question. So here's my question. I click on Rich Content Editor. And so this is my question. And let's say that I want to, I want to, I want to insert a graphic below my, my question here. So I click on the graphic icon, insert graphic, and I get a dialog box that pops up. And I will tell you that due to our licensing um, uh, arrangements with Qualtrics, we only have access to one library of graphics uh, that we can add new stuff to, and that is the Radford University Library. So that's the only one where you're going to, when you select it, where you get the option to upload a new graphic. And if you haven't done this before, then your graphics are not here. And this is one of the only, there are only two ways to insert graphics. And one of them is to first upload it into Qualtrics. And it's a little bit unorganized, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to click on the upload a new graphic option. And I am going to, in this case, I'm going to show you how to insert a graphic where you choose a file uh, from your computer and upload it into Qualtrics. So I'll choose a file, and here I am on my desktop. I've got various uh, pieces of junk here, and I'm going to, um, I'll insert a graphic called Monday Morning uh, Lisa. So this is, this, is, um, this is the Mona Lisa on a Monday morning, or maybe on a Wednesday morning after a rough election. I don't know. Now, this is very important. I'm gonna choose, I'm, I'm gonna upload or save this file but I'm first going to put my name at the beginning of the file name uh, very in all caps very clearly so that I can easily locate it in the sea of images that are sort of um, uncategorized in the Radford um, Qualtrics uh, image library. Another, another thing that you need to be aware of is, is Qualtrics will, will insert the image at the, the dimensions that you indicate up front here. And so sometimes you end up with an image that's far too large, and the only way to um, cut it down is to either script the, um, the, the code on the image uh, page or on the question page or change it here. But for now, I'm just gonna keep my 600. Actually, I'm gonna make it a little smaller. I'll make it three, I'll, I'll cut it in half, 300 by 300. I'll update the preview to see if that's the right size. Yeah, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save that one. So now when I go to insert a graphic, and I click down to the Radford University Library, I'll scroll all the should be near the bottom. Started with the name Sherman. I'm scrolling, scrolling. It'll be un, unassigned. And I get to there we are. I had a couple. I did one. I did this earlier. Uh, with a different Mona Lisa picture, but I'll pick the one that I in, um, th that I uploaded, and there it is. So that's that's one way uh, to make sure that you get the appropriate graphic in your question. And I'm going to show you there, there there is another way as as well that's related. And let me just quickly demonstrate that for you. Again, I'm going to um, well, th the first thing I need to do is um, is um, explain that the other way you can do this is to upload an image into the into the Qualtrics system by its um, by where it's located on the web. If you located an image that is out there on the web somewhere and not on your local computer, so let me just quickly I'll go to Google right now on this demonstration and I'll type in um, let's say that I needed a graduated cylinder as um, in my um, in my in my question. So I'll, I'll click on images and let's say that this is the perfect uh, image for me. I'll view the image and I will go up to the bar and I will copy the address of the image. 
So now I will go back to my Qualtrics survey. And so um, let me delete Mona Lisa. And let me insert a graphic that's a graduated cylinder. I go to my Radford University Library. I click on Upload a New Graphic, but in this case, I'm going to use a graphic from the web. I will paste the URL that I, that I copied, and there it is. I'll save it. And then I still have to go locate it inside of the Radford Library, uh, Qualtrics Library. What it did was make a copy of it into the Qualtrics Library, I think. Either that or it's just re redirecting it. And wouldn't you know, I forgot to include my name, Sherman, in the file name description, um, but at least I remembered it's a glass, uh, a graduated cylinder. So I, there it is, I click on it there, and it shows up in my question. So that is the way that you pro can insert graphics into your Qualtric items so that they show up properly when your uh, assessment items are displayed.